federal employee is fired from the job claiming that because they posed with an AR-15 that the reason they did it was because that person is transgender. But there's more to the story. Welcome to another installment of the Connecticut Gun Bench. Today's video is brought to you by PAN Firearms, LLC. PAN Firearms, your NRA certification and multi-facet gun training. You can reach us at 203-300-6343 or use our website at www.panfirearmsllc.com. As always, there'll be a link in the description box below. And if you like my channel, like my content, and would like to support me, you can do so with the link in the description box. Everything is appreciated. But let's talk about this. Now, we have this person who's a federal employee, I believe is an archeo uh, archeologist, and they work for the federal government, and they were fired from the federal job after posing with an AR-15. Of course, this person immediately ran to social media to claim that this was uh, some form of bigotry because conservatives, you know, right-wingers, as this person calls them, pose with AR-15s all the time, and nothing happens to them. This is double standard. It's because I'm transgender. Not quite. Not quite. You saw the opening clip. Now, you read a little bit. There's a little bit at the bottom that you can read what this person put in there. But let's get the, the details and find out why. So I'm going to come over to here. Okay, Yahoo News. Now realize this is Yahoo News, so it comes with a slant. But transgender archaeologist fired from federal job after posing with AR-15. Recently, a transgender woman from Colorado who posted a video loading an AR-15 after a conservative extremist, and he's talking about, uh, oh my gosh, his name escapes me. Is, uh, is it Michael Knowles? Yes, Michael Knowles, who said this, was fired from her federal, federal job. Kayla Deckner says sacking her from her job on April 14th but exemplifies a double standard where right-wing is composed with guns, but transgender women cannot. <laughs> we're gonna see, and we're gonna get to that part. A video of Denkner went viral in March. The 36-year-old is holding a legally purchased AR-15 long gun. She repeatedly racks the weapon and shows off the loaded magazine. Why I don't know. Quote: While advocating for trans people, this is what this person said. This this is it. While quote: While advocating for trans people to arm ourselves is not any kind of solution to the genocide we are facing. What genocide? I don't do want to say that if any of you transphobe do try to come for me, I am taking a few of you with me. The video caption reads. Now, do you think that right there is more than enough to have you removed? Can you imagine if a right winger or so-called right winger had a pictures of an AR-15 racking it and showing ammunition and saying, hey, if you any of you transgender people, X, Y, Z, they personally be off the just completely banned from social media across the spectrum so fast you could boil an egg okay this person's trying to cry victim oh it's because i'm a transgender woman no it's because you're making an open threat of violence against other people doofus but it became viral after mid-march shooting at a covenant high school in nashville which killed six people including three children because the person is transgender supposedly Radical right-wingers began sharing Dankner's video. <laughs> like I said, this is Yahoo News. It's gonna come with a slant. Radical right-wingers began sharing Dankner's video after police officials suggested a Nashville shooter was transgender. Now, if you remember, not very recently, I did a video on another person who, who literally on TikTok came out and said, if you prevent me from going into the bathroom of my choice, I am armed. It'll be the last mistake you ever make. Straight up. Yeah, there's an investigation supposedly going on with this person, but still. So yeah, we have to take these things seriously. Okay. In addition, right-wing trolls claim Denker was threatening violence on a transgender day of vengeance. Well, yeah, an event that never occurred, but was latched onto by conservatives who tried to hyper-focus on it instead of transgender day of visibility, which is observed March 31st. Like I said, this is Yahoo News. Just bear with me for a second. Following the viral post, Dankner locked her social media accounts. Why? Because you know you messed up. You know what you did was wrong. 
The Daily Mail and Newsweek wrote about Dankner, but did not include her response. Assault rifles are often pictured with members of the far right, including many former and current members of Congress, transphobic U.S. reps Marjorie Taylor Greene and Lauren Bobbitt have shown themselves handing in long guns. But did they threaten anyone? No. Yahoo News. Dankner says that's because she's transgender, the right freaked out. No, it's because you openly threaten people. That they, you know, and of course, whoever wrote this is not going to counter by saying, well, you did make a threat. So just keep that in mind. Quote, another trans lunatic showing up for her gun. Why are these mentally ill people not locked up in a psychiatric ward? Wrote one account in a, with a clip of the video, which has viewed more than 7 million times in that tweet alone. Okay. But here's the thing. Let's come out of that. Here, here's the thing. And this, this is for Dankner. You see this or not. Guns are not toys. Okay, then what you're doing in that video is irresponsible. Okay, it's irresponsible. What you said in the video is irresponsible. If you're transgender or not, you're being a doofus. That's putting it nicely. You're being a doofus. Okay, that was not proper gun handling. When the anti-gun people talk about people who handle guns improperly, you are part of that. You don't do things like that. Okay, that is not competent gun handling and what the statement obviously that i read that's why you you got in trouble you openly threaten people with violence if any of you trans folks come after me i'm gonna take some of you with me well what does what does any of you trans folks come after me what does that mean what context are you putting that in that's a problem that's why these people have a problem what you're doing that's why i have a problem what you're doing i don't give a damn how you present yourself to the world that is improper gun handling. It's irresponsible. Okay? And to say, well, right-wingers do it too. Yeah, but right-wingers, if any right-winger were to come out and say what you said and do what you did, I would call them out too. Don't make this about ideologies. This is about your true incompetence and the way you presented yourself in that video. And that's all there is to it. You want to cry victim? Cry victim. But I'm calling you out. That was pure incompetence to do to make a video like that. Anyone who makes a video like that, I'm going to call them out. Okay? But you openly advocated for violence. Period. But let me know what you think. As always, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. And as always, any statements of violence, the statements that lead to violence will be removed. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you're notified the next time a video goes live. I will see you on the next one. Peace.